take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. In the working world, horses who don't wear shoes usually as a result of having a problem with their feet. Sometimes their hooves are too brittle, or they may have broken off a piece of their hoof, and so the shoe could not be adequately affixed. Therefore, they wear away their hooves slower than the hooves grow. Take our lead. Another way to tell if the hoof needs to be trimmed is to look at how the outside of the hoof. The hoof running between the toe and the coronet band should be a straight line. If that line has a dip or a bend to it, then the toe has grown out and the hoof has gotten too long. Let's help you make your mark. Horses can walk on roads barefoot, and most tolerate short trips over the pavement with no issues. Horses accustomed to barefoot riding tolerate pavement relatively well, but horses with tender feet or weak hoofs require shoes or hoof boots when riding on roads. Let's help you make your mark. Do the horseshoes hurt the horse? When done properly, it doesn't hurt the horse to have the horseshoes mounted. The hoof is connected to the skin and flesh but the hoof itself can be compared to the fingernails of humans. As long as the nails are not inserted too deeply the horse will not feel pain. Let's help you make your mark. A healthy soul is strong and hard, while a weak soul is thin and pliable. A horse with weak souls may be more susceptible to bruising and would, therefore, benefit from wearing shoes. However, there is a misconception that shoeing weakens horses' souls over time. Esco explains, research has been very lacking on that. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.